What is going on our YouTube? Uh, Black Bigelow here today uh, with another uh, food review because I know you guys love them so much and as we have another beautiful sunset in one of my favorite uh, drug addicted states in the nation, Ohio, I'll be staying out in Ohio uh, for the next uh, month or two. Uh, anyways, um, trying to get back on a diet but nothing seems to work. Trying to get their kids. Anyways, today we are going to review one of the most absolutely overpriced hamburgers that they make in America. And that of course is Five Guys Burger and Fries. An absolute ripoff. Their food is absolutely just overpriced. It is by far the most overpriced burger joint in our great nation. So today I ordered a cheeseburger. How much was this cheeseburger? How much was this cheeseburger? It's $11, yes. Well, it technically is $12 because, here's the funny thing about Ohio that a lot of you guys don't know. In Ohio, when you go to a fast food joint, if you take the food to go, they don't charge you tax. But if you eat the food there, then they charge you tax. I don't understand it. So if I would have ate it there, it would have been ten seventy nine plus tax. So it would have came out to 12 So I saved a, a dollar in tax. And so I took the dollar and I put it in their little stupid tip jar. So in a sense, this burger was $12. I don't even know why I gave them a dollar. Uh, this whole tipping thing is just getting out of control. I, why should I have to uh, pay, pay you money? Uh, why should I have to subsidize your employees because you're not paying them a, a wage? Anyways, enough about that. Let's review this damn hamburger. Okay, $12 cheeseburger, hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever. Let's open it up. I do, first of all, I do not like that it comes in foil. I'm not into it. And what do we got here? This thing. This thing right here. Is What's the thumbnail? Is it this? Or, because I got to put the $12 sign right there, so like this. That's the thumbnail. Okay, cheeseburger, $12. What does it come with? Who cares? Yeah, well, no, let's talk about it. It comes with some kind of mushrooms and onions and cheese and tomatoes. Okay, let's just eat this damn thing. $12 freaking dollars. Yeah, one more bite. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's way better than Wahlburgers. Because Wahlburgers is absolute garbage. And that Black Guys Hamburgers in Dallas. Isn't it? Um... When I review food, I factor in the cost and the taste. Now, the hamburger is good. Um, there's too much crap on it. Uh, they put in like 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 toothpaste and mayonnaise, and there's too much. There's too much. There's too much flavors going on. It's too much nonsense. Okay, uh, it's just it's a it's th that that burger should be if you went to like a regular comparable burger place. That burger with fries and a drink should be absolutely no more than nine dollars. Okay, okay, maybe ten dollars with drinks and with the drink and French fry. Okay, now if I if if the burger were priced how it should be, which that hamburger uh, cheeseburger should be about uh, seven dollars, maybe seven fifty. That's it. But because it's overpriced and it was too sloppy, it was too much. I'm in the value. I'm weighing in the taste and the value. I'll give uh, five guys a, uh, a a a a I'll give it a 5.9, 5.9. That's all they're getting for me, because it's just, this. Their food is just overpriced. A large a large drink in there is three dollars, right? 
why are they so damn expensive? That's what I don't understand. Why are they so damn expensive? I don't I don't get it. It ain't like they're look, it ain't like they're paying their employees much. I mean, first of all, there's like a 16-year-old little girl working the counter and some, you know, recovering alcoholic made my hamburger. You know, he just had one of those uh, recovering alcoholic white guy looks, you know. Um anyways, yeah, it's it's just, you know, listen. It if you want like a good hamburger and you don't want like an overpriced uh, piece of crap, uh, the only place I can really tell you to go to off the top of my head is In-N-Out. In-N-Out, they pretty much make the best, their, their french fries are garbage. French fries are garbage. Uh, if you're gonna go to In-N-Out, if you've never been there, um, you know, don't expect much, you know what I mean? I don't want you to sell you some, uh, some you know, dream hamburger. No, their hamburgers are good. Um, I'll get my review when I next time I eat one, but their hamburgers are good, right? And and what is it? What is a double double? Like five five dollars and change, and then these clowns are charging. They charge double the price of a double double. Okay, now you know the hamburger does have a good amount of meat on it. It's okay. It's not. I mean, they have more meat on their hamburgers than In and Out, but In and Out is just a better hamburger. These guys are just their hamburgers are just too damn sloppy. It's too damn sloppy. But if you're gonna go to In and Out and get a hamburger, get your French fries from McDonald's, right? And then go to In and Out because In and Out. Well, no, you want to go to In and Out first because by the time you get your, you know, your, your hamburger, uh, your French fries might be cold because uh, In and Out sometimes gets so popular that they 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 just you know they get really really busy. You know what I mean? So you, you might want to do that, or or you could or you could do what uh, Tim Conway Jr. does. Uh, He's the son of the late great comic Tim Conway. He used to play on the uh, with, with the Carol Burnett show. What he does is uh, he goes to Taco. Uh, no, he goes to Jack in the Box. He gets two tacos, right? Because they're really, really hot, and he uses that as a heater. And then I think he goes to McDonald's and gets his French fries. And then the tacos they keep the French fries hot. And then he goes to In and Out and gets a hamburger. And that way, when he gets everything together, the taco is like a radiator. Right, those those two those little skinny tacos that are just drenched in oil and it's hot, right? I mean, dude, dude, you can, dude, you can. Those those tacos are so hot, you could actually threat, threaten a woman's life just by like throwing them in her face or something. You know, I don't know why you would want to do that, you sick bastard. But anyway, that's what he does. Uh, anyways, all right. But that being said, um, I, I, you know, you're on your own if you want. If you want to go to Five Guys, if you guys aren't YouTube ballers and you want to go to Five, uh, let me tell you, let me tell you something really quick before I end this video. Because the, the A-minus is always, almost up and I get two commercials. Listen, uh, don't take your kids here. If you got, like, look, if you really like their food, you know, just sneak off with your wife or your whore girlfriend that you're cheating off with with your wife. Uh, leave the kids at home. Because if you're bringing your whore wife or your whore girlfriend and her two stupid whore bastard children over here, uh, you're going to be paying 60, 60 bucks for a hamburger joint. Just take the little bastards to McDonald's. Let them, let them go play, play in the... The, the, the playpen maybe they might make some friends with some other nerds some stupid dumb kids unless they're ghetto you know they, you know i don't know about you guys but if i had kids you know right if i had like a couple kids when i go to the mcdonald's you know i would personally check out the playpen area because if i see any ghetto there if i see any kid you know like ghetto kids would be like uh like a stupid kid running around like he's dirty yeah, you know, you ever see those little white kids like their mothers never clean their face? They're all ghetto and just trashy. And then his clothes look like he bought them at, uh, at, the, at the thrift store, but he's been wearing them three days too long. His mother doesn't really care because she's smoking meth. She's whacked out of her mind. You know what I mean? Or, or, or you, know, you got like little like little thugs there as uh, black kids. They're like, mother, mother, who that, 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 who because you know, you know, they got you know the the, the little the little Latino kids. You know what I mean? That they, they can be ghetto too. You know what I mean? So you're throwing up all kinds of South Side, North Side type, whole lot of gang shit with these little kids. Just basically, what I'm saying is, whatever race they are, these little these little badass children. Okay, I don't want my kids. I don't want my kids associating with no little badass ruffians. Okay, I don't care what race you are. 
Okay, if my kid, if your kid is is a is a nice, well respected young young lady or, or young man, that's fine. But if you're if you're like if your boyfriend's in prison and and you know yeah and all that nonsense and you're you're you, you know the the father of your kids is claiming gang affiliations with the Crips organization. No, I don't want my kids associating with your kid. So don't give me any problems. Okay, don't give me any shit. Okay, I don't want to hear it. All right, I gotta go. Catch up with you later.